Hey everyone, Crickcaster here with another Blue Protocol video, where today I wanted to talk about some of the online or social features that we'll be seeing in the game, such as with parties, guilds, and more. To start off, Blue Protocol will be an open world MMO with a number of different hubs, zones, and instances. All of these will be separated with loading screens, but there will also be different channels within the same areas. What I mean by this is that there may be thousands of people in town, but you can only see a select few of them since you are only in one of many instances. The capacity for these channels are different depending on what kind of zone it is. For cities or towns, it is up to 200 players. For field areas or the open world zones, they'll be up to 30. And then for missions and dungeons, they'll hold up to six players in them. And then for raids, there'll be 30 players, just like the field areas. And then there will be some solo content such as time and score attacks. For these channels, you currently cannot select a specific one to go to, and you'll be automatically placed in one once you go into different areas. However, if you are in a party, the game will prioritize reserving channel space for your entire group to be together. And you can select to visit other members through the party menu or your friends list. Speaking of parties though, you can have up to six people in one, which is a little bit bigger than most other MMOs that usually have like four or five. And to group up with others, there are actually multiple different ways. First is by directly inviting those around you or on your friends list. And then second is a matchmaking system used for missions and dungeons specifically that you can group up with others automatically. Third is a quick party system, which forms parties with others in your vicinity for the open world if you're doing similar content. And fourth is a recruitment list system or party board, which lets you choose between existing parties with certain conditions, very similar to the party finder feature in Final Fantasy XIV. But then some of you might be wondering, how does the rewards and drops work within a party? These will be shared between all of your members while in the same area or mission, so nobody has to miss out on loot. With parties squared away now, let's talk about the guild system. At the moment, there is not a whole lot dealing with guilds or teams, but you can join one which you can level up with others by doing content in the game. Leveling allows a bigger guild size, adding five more player slots per level. It looks like with these at level one, it'll be a size of 20 players, but you can get it up to 50 in total. They said that they plan to add activities or content specific to these teams or guilds, but there may not be anything ready at launch. For other social features of the game though, there will be a photo mode, which you can use to take screenshots in game with up to 11 people, including yourself. In this photo mode, you can take screenshots while using gestures, skills, and changing different settings like focus and position. What is also nice is you can pause yourself in these certain positions, as well as others around you to take the perfect screenshot. This will be only on your screen, however, as it creates a clone of other characters, so it allows them to move elsewhere doing other things. And then once you're done actually taking these screenshots, you can use them to customize your in-game profile or your character card, showcasing up to three of them. This character card is another social feature in the game, which is kind of similar to adventure plates in Final Fantasy XIV, just kind of showcasing everything about you that you've done in game with these screenshots or achievements and other things about you. But that is the majority of the social aspects that they've shown us so far. There's a few things that they've mentioned but not shown, such as player housing being a thing, but that won't be until later after launch. And there's a few things where they have no plans for, such as trading between players or there being an auction house. But I'll update you guys if anything changes and more with Blue Protocol. If you haven't yet, consider checking out some other Blue Protocol videos that I've done, like explaining the monetization system or what kind of platforms and regions you can play this game at. Thank you guys for watching though. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.